Good evening viewers, today we will be doing a chicken dish my mom calls chops masala. It's a gravy type eaten with rice. So here are the ingredients. Most of the ingredients have been divided into spices here. Onion, medium chopped chicken and this is coriander leaf probably it's the light you're not able to see it's somewhere night and I'm recording sorry for the bad lighting so let's zoom in on the spices this is coriander powder a teaspoon of it around five pieces of cloves five pieces of cloves and five pieces of cardamom black pepper around one teaspoon of it chopped coconuts you can say around 50 to 100 grams green chili ginger and garlic here is around three to four onions cut we have around 1.5 kilos of chicken here as i said earlier mediumly pieced now this is the main ingredient which gives you that aroma and the thing this will have the most dominant taste in this dish that is the coriander leaves so let's see how it's prepared okay so here starts the preparation we just frying all these items first we put a tablespoon of oil you can use oil of your choice black pepper pepper has been fried then next Next to that, we are just frying, we are not putting any extra oil in the same oil, we are just frying cloves and cardamom. So mind it, the earlier black pepper that was fried has been taken out of the pan. We are individually frying each of these items. Welcome back, this is how all the spices look after it's been fried. So correction from the earlier statement what I said each of these items while frying it individually you have to put a tablespoon of oil so this will bring out and make sure I'm repeating it each of these items have to be fried individually with a tablespoon of oil or less a half tablespoon of oil so ginger was cut sliced and then tablespoon of oil was put the cloves the cardamom black pepper ginger garlic now this is very important which i want to stress which most of the people do mistakes is while frying the coriander powder make sure that the flame is not on it is done at the end so that you off the flame and the coriander powder is fried in the remaining heat of the pan you just put that and or else it will get charred okay so that's one thing even this also requires half a tablespoon of oil so coming back to the coriander leaves you can see we had a whole bunch of coriander leaves which has been reduced to almost a handful of it and this is these are onions nicely fried so that you get that flavor of the onion you have to get the smell until which you have to fry it not fully fried it's you can say 50% cooked okay now let's go to the next phase of the preparation so we put all those fried ingredients into the mixer and almost a cup of water this is the size of the cup you can say around what is it around 50 ml of it 
less less you can less, you can say 25 to 30 ml of water don't put more water yep we'll grind it now okay meanwhile the masala has been grinded so we are starting to prepare the chicken part of it so we put around 75 ml of oil if it's not 75 you can say around 50 ml of oil and upon which the chicken will be fried in that oil yeah now you can see it's almost half grounded sorry grinded it still has to come now we just put uh, again 50 ml of water to it and we will be grinding it so sorry folks this is what we had forgot earlier so we are adding two tomatoes medium sized tomatoes cut this can be done normally this has to be done initially cut in into eight pieces and then fried a little bit that would be ideal but even while grinding this can be put that won't make much difference so now that the masala is done it's almost grinded properly we'll proceed further now we have put the masala in the frying pan normally we are using cooker or along with the grounded masala we also put 2 tablespoon of it's 2 teaspoon sorry teaspoon of salt and we make sure that the container which had masala has been fully cleaned we put some more water in it and that water has been put into the frying pan so some all the ingredients have been mixed properly So after this we will be closing the cooker and we will be uh, waiting for around two whistles that's what okay I think it's one whistle my mom's slightly putting her hand up and showing one finger so it's for one whistle so she's put some more water the amount of water is normally you can you can you can get make sure you get a bit of gravy out of it so you can reduce the amount of water based on the thickness of the gravy that you need so we are mostly having a thick gravy a semi thick gravy we can we will show you post it's been cooked what is the thickness of the gravy you can always alter the amount of water based on the thickness of the gravy so this is how it looks after it's cooked Correction from the last video, we had two vessels blown. So now it's done. So how do you check if it's done? Check if the chicken is cooked properly. Mm. Yeah, it's come out nice. Believe me when I say it. Uh, this is our master chef here. Lingama Surya Kumar smiling and what's in her nose is what I want the diamond uh, nose ring that's grandma's which is keeping it away from me that's what I'm gonna steal it from her now this is how it's eaten this is a rice a little bit fried rice you can say a little bit of cardamom cloves put and Haldi, that's turmeric put and it's fried. So I'll show you some other day how this rice is made. So this is my dinner for today. Thank you guys.